Today's episode takes a deep dive into the complex and evolving story of Tesla's autopilot system. We're looking at the recent criticisms highlighted in the Washington Post article and Tesla's detailed response. Let's unravel this intricate narrative and understand the different facets of this technology debate. The Washington Post recently published an article focusing on several key issues surrounding Tesla's autopilot system. Let's look at the main points. The article reports that at least eight serious crashes involving Tesla's autopilot on roads where it should not have been used, raising questions about the safety and usage of the system. It highlights the concerns that Tesla's autopilot was used in conditions it wasn't designed for and discusses the lack of regulatory actions from bodies like NTSB and NHTSA in enforcing stricter controls. The article emphasizes the potential risks of autopilot and the need for more stringent oversight and safety measures. In response to these allegations, Tesla presented a comprehensive rebuttal, and here are some key elements of their response. Tesla presented data suggesting that autopilot is significantly safer than manual driving, with fewer crashes per mile when the system is engaged. They emphasized that autopilot is a level two system, which means that the driver is always responsible for controlling the vehicle. And Tesla also highlighted their efforts to ensure drivers remain engaged while using autopilot. Tesla addressed specific points raised in the article, particularly the 2019 crash case, arguing that driver error, not autopilot, was the primary factor. The Washington Post's article sheds light on some critical issues regarding Tesla's autopilot program. Let's delve deeper into their findings. Detailed accounts of crashes. The article brings to the forefront that at least eight significant crashes where Tesla's autopilot was engaged. One poignant example is a 2019 incident in Florida. A Tesla car driving on autopilot crashed into a Chevy Tahoe parked on the roadside. This tragic event led to the death of one person and serious injuries to another. The Tesla driver relying on autopilot had overlooked the stop sign highlighting a grave concern about the system's limitations. Inappropriate conditions for autopilot. The article points out that several of these accidents occurred on roads where autopilot was not designed to operate effectively. This includes rural roads with limited traffic controls or clear lane markings, where the technology's capabilities are significantly reduced. Regulatory inaction. The article also focuses on response, or lack thereof, from regulatory bodies, like the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA. After a fatal crash in 2016, the NTSB recommended limits on where driver assistance technology could be used. However, their suggestions have not been translated into enforceable regulations raising concerns about the oversight of such advanced technologies. This detailed reporting by the Washington Post emphasizes the need for more stringent safety measures and oversight to prevent future tragedies. In a thorough rebuttal, Tesla addressed the concerns raised by the Washington Post article. Here are some expanded insights into Tesla's response. Safety data. Tesla presented comprehensive data indicating that autopilot significantly enhances safety. They reported one crash in every 4.85 million miles driven with autopilot engaged, compared to one crash per 1.40 million miles without it. This is a stark contrast to the national average in the United States, which sees a crash approximately every 652,000 miles. Level 2 Autopilot System Tesla emphasized the nature of autopilot as a level 2 system. This means that while the system assists with driving, the driver must remain engaged and responsible at all times. Tesla has implemented measures like torque-based and camera-based monitoring to ensure drivers are attentive while using autopilot. 
Addressing specific incidents. Tesla specifically addressed the 2019 Florida crash. They argued that the driver's decision to override autopilot speed restrictions and failure to adhere to road signs was a primary cause of the accident, not the autopilot system itself. This response highlights Tesla's stance that driver awareness and responsibility are crucial, even when advanced driver assistance systems are in use. Through their detailed response, a Tesla aims to clarify the intended use of autopilot and its commitment to enhancing road safety through technological advancements. These contrasting perspectives from the Washington Post and Tesla bring to light the complexities and challenges in integrating advanced autonomous driving technologies into everyday road use. As we continue to navigate this evolving landscape, the importance of balancing innovation with safety and responsible usage becomes increasingly clear. In conclusion, this story presents a complex interplay between technology, safety, and responsibility. While Tesla's autopilot has shown potential in enhancing vehicle safety, its effectiveness and safety depend on proper usage and understanding by the drivers. The discussions and actions of regulatory bodies will be crucial in shaping the future of this technology. Thank you for joining us on this Spotlight on Tesla's Autopilot Safety. We hope this episode has provided a clearer understanding of the ongoing dialogue around Tesla's autopilot system. Stay tuned for a more insightful discussion on the latest in technology. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the world of technology and its impact on our lives.